Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for making a value-based decision to join us. Uh, my name is Jermaine Parms, Director of Diversity and Business Development here at NJEDA. We just want to thank a uh, few of our participants and, and people that help us uh, round out the event and, and put things together. I want to thank the African American Chamber of Commerce, Statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the Asian Indian uh, Chamber of Commerce, of course, the New Jersey uh, Veterans Chamber of Commerce, the Atlantic City, uh, excuse me, Atlantic County Chamber of Commerce, Chamber, Chamber of Commerce of Southern New Jersey, uh, Gloucester County Chamber of Commerce, Greater Vineland Chamber of Commerce, and Salem uh, Chamber of Commerce as well. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, South uh, New Jersey Development Council for their partnership and helping us put this event together. Uh, we definitely want to thank uh, other strategic partners in this accomplishment, along with our first two awarded contractors, uh, Fiera Pilsen and South State, as well as uh, internal team at NJEDA. We want to thank uh, Jim Becker, and we want to thank uh, Kyle O'Donnell from our DNI team uh, for pitching in as well. Uh, I'd like to uh, start the program uh, with a quick overview of our project diversity goals and uh, local inclusion program goals as well. Um, New Jersey Wimport uh, Management Consultant uh, was awarded last year to, to ACOM Tishman. And today we have uh, Mr. Robert Hagley uh, that will join us uh, to talk on behalf of the uh, Ferreira Pilsen JV. Robert. So my, my name is Robert Heckley. Um, Kevin Perrette is the project manager uh, assigned to the project, but he's uh, tied up on site right now. So I stepped in to kind of walk through the scope for the test pile package. Um, the scope that you're seeing here refers a little bit more to the main marine package as the test pile package is ongoing and drawing near an end. Uh, the project consists of the installation of over 1,500 concrete piles, both marine and from the land uh, in combination with a uh, 1,000 linear feet sheet pile wall and cable protection wall. Uh, again, some installed from land, some from the marine side. Uh, this work is then covered with a combination of precast and cast in place concrete caps and then overlaid with a decking and a uh, closure pour. So um, once all that work's performed, there's miscellaneous tie-ins and metals uh, at the end of the project to complete the actual war phase. There'll be some minor earthwork associated with our school. Uh, the heavier portion is being done on another project. Uh, so it is a fairly diverse um, scope that we have across the project, land work, marine work, um, kind of touching all the different trades and, and, and reaching out to, I think, a wide variety of opportunities. So this is a kind of an indication of some of the ideas we had coming into the project of you know, opportunities for different um, subcontractors or suppliers, uh, general things that would be used throughout the project from now all the way through the next two years, as far as the main project scope would be concerned. There would be uh, things from as far as dumpsters from just um, anywhere from soil removal all the way to just your general trash removal. Uh, fuel uh, companies, both marine and land-based uh, would be available. There would be possible services, uh, tug services, things along that nature to support the marine operations. Uh, we would have general, you know, your general supply of tooling, uh, small tools, uh, anything from the ENS controls all the way through hand tools, just to kind of give an idea there. Uh, food and dining services, uh, anything in the PPE and, and um, support for the facilities on site. From a uh, contractor, I like guess subcontractor uh, perspective, there may be some concrete work available. Uh, there would certainly be some opportunities with rebar supply and uh, assembly and installation. Um, and then maybe some survey, both on marine and land sides. And then, um, you know, anything in the support of the trailer systems, uh, portable uh, toilet supply, things of that nature. The larger scope items still may be, may be opportunities for, um, I would say, with the subcontractors, larger sections of concrete pours in that nature. That hasn't been broken down at this point, uh, but it's certainly something that's being targeted. Uh, even in 
to our suppliers for the precast pile option. We're speaking to them about keeping their uh, their eyes open for solutions on their side as well. So we're we're already engaging our subcontractors to kind of look at the things we're looking at to keep that process heading downstream. Megan, Megan Cardenpool is the director of marketing for the Ferrer Pearson joint venture. She would take um, any inquiries that came along and she would pass them on to the appropriate you know, folks here at the joint venture. Um, like I, I don't know if I should have started off with Ferrer and Ari Pearson are working together on this project. Um, I represent American Pile Foundation, which is a part of the Ferrer companies. Uh, I've been engaged in the project throughout. So Megan and I will work together to make sure that the, the, the appropriate folks at the joint venture know who the contacts are and where the opportunities would lie. And Robert, we want to thank you. Uh, we know that uh, you you got called in to join us last minute. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, so we definitely uh, appreciate that uh, you joining us on demand. Uh, to, to you know, we wanted to make sure we have full presentation of our partners, and uh, you came in at at, at at you know with your cape on. So we appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to go back to what was our original. Uh, slide in the outline, which is the goal of our, our XBE program goals. So uh, Gareth, at this time, I'd, I'd uh, invite you to just uh, come and go over those goals uh, respectfully. Thank you. Uh, yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, this project has a variety of, of goals, and we've taken using, to taken using the term XBE because it's the words get too long. So XBE to this group should mean Small business enterprise as defined by the state of New Jersey, um, women-owned women -owned business, minority-owned business. We've also sort of used the term loosely, although it's not an official uh, goal, an LBE, local business enterprise. A lot of our, our goals are, that's a soft goal, and we're looking to engage the southern portion of the state, the five, the five strategic counties that surround this project and that are aligned with the PLA. Uh, we also have uh, a veteran-owned goal uh, portion of the project, um, and and all together, you know, we mix. We're mixing it up, and we have a a large amount of um, uh, firms. Each project that we let as a subcontract, um, the two gentlemen that are going to be talking, Rob being one of them, is what we consider a prime contractor or a prime subcontractor. Uh, Tishman is the, uh, if you will, the general contractor or construction manager at risk. So when we solicit bids from prime contractors, they are obligated to prepare a, a plan that indicates how they're going to um, align with those goals that are set forth by the state. Um, you know, the percentages uh, are, are sort of uh, vary from 3% from to 25%, but there's a blend that we're trying to achieve of all those packages. So, um, Again, this is uh, this is uh, Flora is our representative in this. This is her specialty. She reviews and and helps our procurement team uh, vet and 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 assist also assists trade contractors in becoming certified. Uh, again, through extension with uh, Jane Selton, her team at Southern New Jersey De Development Council. We are underway and 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 nearing conclusion of what's called the test pile program. Uh, that was an advanced package that was that has to be done. It's an engineering. It's required for engineering. But as he mentioned, the larger uh, war for terminal package is what the overall engineering documents refer to it is. That's the meat of the work that is shortly to be awarded uh, to the to the lowest uh, to the to the uh, most responsive bidder that we have. So those are not, that's not public yet, uh, but is expected imminently. We also have the same for dredging, um, uh, dredging contractors for uh, under us. And the state of New Jersey is actually procuring a larger dredging contract, which is out of the street right now. When I say the state, the Department of Transportation. Um, so any of you folks that are interested in marine dredging and river dredging, uh, those packages are, as I said, are being solicited by the DOT, but they support the overall project in, the, in its completion stage. Earthwork is underway. You're going to hear from a representative from South State. At least I was, that was my expectation. Um, and that is essentially a large amount of earth, earth moving and, and excavation and fill and, and other things. Um, and that is underway uh, currently. So they will have, as much as Robert had mentioned, have certain needs downstream. Um, the project as a whole, that's phase, uh, phase one actually consists of 
several other elements, uh, but we're in what we call phase 1A, which is the parcel and wharf. And uh, we're currently working uh, to award several other uh, primes, one for electrical, one for concrete, one for uh, utilities. And uh, those are underway now. And those are, we're in uh, what we call D-scopes with those vendors. So once we have these vendors, those primes awarded, we will probably have another one of these sessions where those companies can uh, state their needs. Um, so some of you may have been approached by those firms. Oh, thank you. There's the percentages. So. The goals are, are, are very important to us here. You know, the EDA uh, was forward in doing a, a, a specific study to make sure uh, that we address our uh, population in terms of our respective businesses in the minority women veteran, uh, small business service disabled uh, categories, just to make sure specifically for this project that we can have some outline goals and be able to source all of the talent that we have for a project definitely that is special uh, here in New Jersey. For the most part, you know, the, 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 the companies are gonna have very similar needs on the supply chain, right? right. I mean, we are, uh, this particular element of the work, I'll just speak to the earthwork, is right. largely mechanical, right? There's, there are very few, if any, um, elements of this that, 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 that source materials, right? We're using all in situ material as far as dredge spoils that are in the, on the site. So we're not importing any, any material with the exception of some aggregate for some road work. So if there are any material suppliers out there that provide quarry products, um, that may be of interest and South State would be uh, the one who would procure that or supply, you know, furnish that for the project. So would source that material. Um, right. Outside of that, it's largely, uh, again, things like fuel. Um, I can tell you that when we get to Tishman's, you know, we don't have necessarily even a vendor program set up for, uh, you know, lunch trucks or, or, a, or, a, or a cafe or something like that on site. For those of you who are not familiar with this area, it is quite remote. Uh, there's literally no reason to be out there unless you're either on this project that we're doing or you work work at the plant, the nuclear power plant. Uh, the nearest residence is, I'm told, five miles away. So it is right. quite quite remote, um, and it is it is lack. There is a uh, cafe on site. However, it it is situated within PSNG Nuclear's facility. So un unreasonable to think that our our workers could get there. So um, you know, you're seeing what you see here. We're going to have a shant or a construction um, village set up both in the management side of the project as well as out in the field uh, near the actual work site. It is, it is an expansive site, over 40 acres. Um, so there's a lot, of gr lot of open space and nothing right. much else. So uh, you can see here, uh, they have identified some of the same types of servicing service facilities that could be used. So obviously um, toilets is a good one, uh, office facilities, trucking, uh, removal of waste and debris. Um, and small tools. Uh, but outside of that, you know, uh, they have some silt fence and, and sort of things like that. However, you know, much of that was probably procured uh, during their bid, but I'm not, there, there could be more opportunities for uh, ongoing downstream um, needs. Um, so that's, that's what I could tell you there. Uh, there's probably, um, as, a, as opposed to the package that Rich was describing, the one with the concrete piles and all the concrete and, uh, and, and, and infrastructure work, uh, that one probably has a broader range of services available to it. I can tell you the site is a buzz right now and we are in a very critical sort of start phase. So that's probably what's drawn Rich away. So this is us. We have what we call uh, general requirements. And so we're, we're, we'll be purchasing um, things like this. Uh, again, more of the same office furniture, office supplies, right. technology. Uh, we have a signage package that went out. We made an award to a small company there. Uh, uh, safety, professional, PPE, um, maintenance of the site. Uh, we have, um, again, I mentioned, but we're, we're looking for a currently sourcing a vendor to provide what I've talked to calling wellness services, where we actually have a first aid trailer or a wellness trailer for people to come in. And in that trailer, we would have training, safety training, as well as uh, nursing or, uh, I don't want to call it, it's not an emergency room, far stretch, call it an emergency room, but it is a wellness center where if someone gets a bump and a bruise or they need to report something or get some counseling on something, uh, we would do our drug testing in there if need be, 
things like that. So we're currently, and Jane's been um, sort of trying to source some local companies there. Uh, so that's an opportunity. Also, I mentioned before, we would likely want to make sure that we um, identify some outside vendors for food services that could come in. And if they wanted to take it upon themselves to set up a, uh, a place to serve food, you know, food truck, we could probably look at that. So there's, it's very light on the amenities, this area. And right, um, right. So, so that's something that I would consider. And, and the CM would, would, would work with, work with a company to develop a, develop an opportunity there. Um, what else can I say? I mean, this is, this is what we call general requirements and general conditions. So um, we have a, we go through the savvy database for a lot of things. Also we go with, uh, we work with the Southern New Jersey Development Council because they're uh, currently always fielding uh, inquiries. Uh, we have an email address at info at njwindportcm. So that's info at njwindportcm.com. Okay. And that's where we're, we're sort of, uh, we've asked that we monitor this mailbox for inquiries of all types. And it is our goal to respond to these inquiries um, uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with some sort of guidance as to whether or not it's a service we're actually going to be purchasing or currently need. Thank you uh, for filling in for your colleagues. Um, we, we definitely are aware, um, you know, for anyone that, that doesn't know the area, it's, um, you know, the area is very specific. So as, as Gareth outlined, uh, you know, so correctly, if you're only in that region, if you're actually doing something, I, I've definitely been out to uh, Salem to the uh, PSCG uh, nuclear facility myself and, uh, it's quite a way down and, and inward to uh, get out there. So I can imagine uh, even communicating amongst yourselves down there on the project can sometimes be problematic. Yeah. So, yes, yes. So. Internet is even a challenge. Cell phone service is a challenge. It's all a challenge. But uh, it's a beautiful country, and I can't wait for summer when those vegetables start to grow. I think I think we all we're all good on on wanting some some warm weather and we're, we're <laughs> appreciative because uh, they got cold very quickly. So we're definitely appreciative that today is is hovering around fifty. Yes, but uh, you know, thank you uh, so much, Gareth, uh, for participating with us. We know everyone down at the project site is is busy doing uh, the work and uh, you know also just uh, helping us along these lines. But uh, it's definitely important to all of us here to make sure. Uh, that we stay in tune with our goals and uh, connect with as many as, as our uh, local businesses as well as our XBE category businesses that we know. Uh, we know that there's talent here, so we want to connect with as many as possible. So thank you. Absolutely, and I hope that, uh, that I'm pretty sure that we'll have a, a list compiled of the attendees that will be forwarded to all the participants here, at least uh, from yes. the buying side, the buyer side would like to see that. And it's my understanding that we're gonna we're going to set up sort of a regular cadence of these meetings uh, sure. as more primes are brought brought on, and as we move into the second phase of the project, which which right now I can't comment on. That's an ND, N, NJEDA um, sort right. of messaging. Uh, I only know what we've got in front of us as far as current designs, but I can tell you that there's a lot of excitement around the possibility for. Uh, a, a significant expansion of the project in phase two. So, uh, and, uh, you know, again, because the marketplace, the industry has come out in, with great interest in, in occupying this, this particular locale. Uh, right. I'm excited for the community and that development drives secondary and tertiary uh, development too. So while we also have these, we have these direct opportunities so that we're surrounding the construction I can only imagine that once this port is in operation or is being uh, configured and started up, that it will drive further development in this, in this region. People need to have places to live, to eat. There's no hotels in the area generally. And we are, have, we are potentially having a billion dollar industry, a uh, multi-billion dollar industry uh, running through this port. So um, good stuff all around. Right. Well, thank you again, uh, Gareth, for filling in. Uh, we definitely appreciate your participation and the participation of everyone at, that uh, made the decision to join us today. Um, I think we could, we're, we're good to take some questions that we have some questions that are coming in. I know someone asked uh, that they're a member of NMSDC 
would they also need to join the Southern New Jersey Development Council? Well, you, you don't need to, we want to be clear, but uh, it definitely would be advantageous for you, um, you know, to do so, uh, you know, it would be an informed business decision. Uh, for full disclosure, I used to work for NMSDC Network. Uh, I used to work for the New Jersey, the New York and New Jersey Minority Supplier uh, Council. Uh, so it's a, it's a fantastic network. Uh, we work with them here at NJEDA, of course, uh, but also we, we definitely are, are working with the uh, Southern New Jersey Development Council. Uh, they're our strategic partner uh, in this uh, and instrumental in helping us get to, um, you know, putting this particular uh, project together for today. So, uh, what do we got? Photography. Uh, yes, there could be. Our, our subcontractors are 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 planning to uh, have to do some sort of record keeping on the project. We are deploying a, a uh, because of the nature of the project being a very broad and expansive project. We are using um, a, a, a service that processes drone footage to monitor progress. So the opportunity is out there potentially for uh, drone pilots uh, with the proper equipment it has to meet minimum specifications. This is not a uh, not a ninety dollar drone here we're talking about um, to to sort of service the project. So that can you can approach Tishman and or any of the subs about that if they're interested. Thank you. Uh, security guard services um, something we're considering uh, and we certainly. Um, uh, we, we have not encountered uh, at this phase of the game where we are actually going to have manned security. We have uh, web cameras and um, the work is largely, as I said, um, dirt. But if, if there is a need, I'd be happy to have the security firm's information uh, available to us. Thank you for that. Uh, there was a question fielded um, in regards to veteran certification. So I'll take that. If you're certified uh, as a veteran, um, by the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, that is actually uh, federal certification. So usually, um, up until recently, uh, you had to go directly to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs uh, in Virginia and through their portal to get certified as a veteran business. Uh, if you are certified by the VA, that in fact is a federal super uh, federal certification, uh, which will supersede. But if you are federally certified, I would advise that you uh, take advantage and utilize that certification to also get certified locally here in New Jersey because the state of New Jersey, as of, I wanna say roughly th two to three years ago, started uh, to process the, the VA certification. So if you are a veteran, SDVOB, uh, veteran uh, business, uh, you know, veteran owned business, please, uh, you are certified by the VA, please uh, get certified by the state of New Jersey Department of Treasury as well. Uh, you would just have to notify them that you are in fact certified by the VA and fill out the proper paperwork for that, which is, which is along a, a fast track type of, of basis and then get certified locally as well. Because what happens is that there's no one-stop uh, shopping, excuse me, for any of these databases. So, for any certification, if, if it's applicable to you, uh, find a respective agency. Uh, have you considered leveraging a procurement solutions provider to source products on your behalf? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we have leveraged uh, sort of a um, uh, some support in, like I said, the way of the Southern New Jersey Development Council, and they are uh, uh, they would be happy, to, I'm sure, to hear hear what's being offered there from um, Avis Yates Rivers. So uh, that's Jane Asasa. Yes. Uh, and Avis, Avis is definitely certified as, hello Avis, uh, good morning. <laughs> Avis is definitely certified uh, as a minority business. So yeah. we want to make those connections. Sure. And I mean, as long as it plugs into our procurement process, we, we procure through, uh, through a database called Building Connected. Uh, Building Connected is, is, a, is a sourcing product that we use uh, specific to our business. And so if there's a way to uh, increase the availability of firms, and this gentleman or, or lady has uh, some kind of a solution that can assist, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely consider it. Uh, the question about drones, we're looking for drone, we would be looking for sort of an Uber service for drones or somebody that could um, could could do these flights, um, right. at least in the short term. Uh, it probably will become, uh, well, anyway, we, we are going to be, right now we've purchased a, um, 
an allotment of flights from the company that provides the analytics and the software. Uh, but uh, that is a, that is a uh, was an initial uh, allocation. So if you have any information on a service and some pricing, uh, Mr. Basu, then uh, be happy to take a look at that. That would go to Tishman Info at CM New Jersey uh, NJCM or NJWinportCM.com. Uh, what are the prime subcontractor packages are going to be awarded? Uh, right now, I think I mentioned a few of them. There's an electrical package. There's a uh, uh, utilities package, which is dealing with uh, drainage and, 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 and other types of uh, uh, site utilities. Uh, there's a road work, which is being combined, a small amount of road work. And then there is some, some structural concrete. And in the long term, there might be some fencing. So there's a few primes, but some of those primes have been absorbed, or some of those smaller contracts uh, we got very little support on, so we'd love to hear some some more people who are interested in uh, fencing and miscellaneous iron and things like that. So, right. Um, I saw. I'll jump in uh, real quick to a question uh, regarding participation and being certified. So we we are looking to source as many of our our outlined uh, XBEs, meaning minority women veterans, small business service disabled veteran. Uh, businesses as possible. Uh, but if you are not certified, it would not count towards any of our goals. So uh, if you are not certified, it doesn't uh, uh, make you ineligible to participate. There might be another thing that you might be able to get contracted to do. Uh, so want to be clear on that, but we will not be able to utilize uh, counting you towards our goals. So uh, if you are in the process of getting uh, certified, you know, uh, please stick with it. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have, um, that was the question that was at 1028. I talked about the drone already. I right. talked about a little bit about food. That's kind of a, 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 a work in progress. Happy to hear some ideas there. Uh, need to be self-sustaining for sure. Uh, if anyone's curious about what there is, there's no utilities there. So anyone that comes to the site would need to be able to uh, power their kitchen or their truck or and provide po their own potable water supply and things like that. But we can, uh, if we get some good interest in that, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll conduct some site tours and bring people out to look at it. I saw a yep. question uh, regarding the JV. So yes, um, for, for the uh, party that, that asked the question, uh, regarding uh, Fiera and um, Ari Pearson. Yes, it, 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 it's operating as a JV uh, on this particular project. Uh, yes, we talked, we saw some of this on the other slide, Ms. Jenkins at 1034, there is, uh, there is potentially an opportunity for cleaning, um, cleaning services. Uh, uh, Ms., Ms. Brown at 1035, post-construction cleaning, I'd say if this is a building, absolutely. Um, uh, this is a giant parking lot at the end of the project uh, with ships docking at it. So it'll likely be uh, street sweeping and things of that nature, big, big, big pictures cleaning. But I think that right. certainly janitorial services for the operations camp uh, would be something we, would, we are looking for. Glad to see that in uh, the chat space that people are sharing uh, their information and, and uh, you know, forward about putting that they're certified and putting their contact. That's all great. It's great for us. And it's also great for the other people that are in the chat that might need to connect with someone there because uh, there's always different lanes to business. There's their public side of business. There's the private side of business, but there's also business to business. So there's definitely people that are here participating on this webinar and this broadcast that might need to connect with each other and uh, might be of service to each other or might even be able to form uh, some type of partnership to do a bigger contract. So I'm glad to see that everyone is sharing the information. And I just wanted to, to cover uh, part of, of the certification package because a lot of times this is where we lose some of our most talented businesses because they don't make it to the finish line in, in terms of sticking with the certification. And sometimes there's trouble with the paperwork. It can be a little bit of an overwhelming process. So we just wanna make sure uh, you know, that we go over these types of items during the duration of this project. Again, we're gonna be looking uh, to meet our goal, but surpass our goals. You know, we wanna get as much talent as we know is here. So, you know, the certifications that are available, minority woman, veteran, uh, you know, veteran service disabled veteran and small business respectively. Uh, for us, you know, we utilize the state of New Jersey uh, Department of Treasury 
where you can apply for all of these respective certifications as a minority business, a woman business, veteran business, a service disabled veteran business, of course, and small business respectively. You can apply for all of those applications. Uh, you can apply uh, through the online application. Uh, we have the link there. So you can see where uh, we provided the link for you to go to and apply. Um, why should you apply? There are so many different opportunities uh, that you may not be aware of. A lot of times information is filtered out to networks, specifically to businesses in these respective categories. And a lot of times we have a lot of talented businesses that are actually in these categories, but we can't find them because they haven't gone through the certification process. So again, primarily for us, we like businesses to uh, come to us verified. I know you heard someone mention uh, NJ Savvy, that is the state open portal uh, to find vendors that have gone through the certification process. Uh, there are other ways to get certified. And if you are certified by another agency and you aren't certified by the state, again, as I mentioned with veteran, I would suggest that you take the opportunity to do it and, and go in and get the state certification. My approach to certification, the more the merrier, the, the, it'll help you canvas and find as much opportunity as possible. So there's different certifications throughout this area. You know, they, there's NMSDC certification, which is the National Minority Supplier Development Council. There's the Women's Business Enterprise National Council, or some of you have heard WeBank. There's WeBank certification. You get certified by New Jersey Transit as a disadvantaged business enterprise. You get certified by the Port Authority, the SBA. So there's many different ways to get certified. And if you are certified by one of those agencies and not by the state, you should always be certified by the state uh, that your business operates. So if you're in New Jersey, you should be certified by the state if you fit into one of those categories. Usual um, things that people fumble over are the documents. So a lot of times people start a business and they say, well, I have a business, you know, uh, what, what, uh, what is it that I need to prove that I'm a certified business? A lot of times people start uh, sole proprietorships and other things where verifying who actually owns the business and controls and operates it uh, is a little gray. So you want to have these types of documents uh, ready when you go to get certified. And they'll help you for other things too. Uh, but definitely you want to have your articles of formation, whether you're a sole proprietorship, an LLC, a corp. You want to have all of those particular items that you're going to need um, to prove, you know, that you have an, an ongoing business. You want to be registered with the state. You want to have your business registration certificate and those basic items. Uh, you'd be shocked that a lot of times that you are going to go do procurement and uh, throw your name in a hat for contracting and you're asked for some of these types of documents as well. So they definitely serve uh, multiple purposes. Your tax returns, important. You know, we saw a lot of people will not be able to get loans and other stuff because they didn't really have the tax information available. Resumes of principles and other items uh, that will be asked during the certification process help identify who actually owns, operates and controls the business which is important, anyone that does auditing is gonna be looking to see uh, in those three areas, who owns, operate and control this entity to make sure uh, that they are certifying a legit entity. Unfortunately, on the certification side, uh, we do have people that try to get certified because they know there's various opportunities as we outlined today, we have goals for this project and we wanna make sure that we're getting bona fide businesses that have gone through a process. In terms of the certification um, determination, the state's process right now is averaging six weeks, okay? Um, they definitely started receiving more certification apps uh, once the process went free. So last year, uh, the state of New Jersey certification process uh, waived fees, which is important. Every dollar counts for businesses. So. Uh, there is no charge and there usually isn't a charge for most uh, government-based uh, certifications. Uh, so unless you explore the other certifications, which is NMSDC and WeBank, um, you know, you won't in encounter any fees. But right now, uh, the process is averaging about six weeks. But what I'll tell you is someone that used to perform certification auditing, if you provide 
a well packaged uh, outline. It definitely will help you in terms of, of the speed and the things that you would need uh, to do to, to maybe get an answer quicker because it saves the auditing party some time, uh, not having to request additional information and send uh, a bunch of notices back and forth to ask you for stuff that they need. So we just wanted to cover these types of, of items. Um, you know, as we want to make sure that every base is covered to get you to the finish line. Uh, I saw that someone is asking for my email address again. I'll provide it again. It's J P H A R M E S at njeda.com. Okay, so there's my information. And um, feel free to reach out if we could be of some service to help you get to the finish line and that lane as well.